let's take someone we want to anesthetize and say we're using SIVO, which has a MAC of 2%. So let's set our FI of SIVO to 2%. So our fraction of inspired SIVO will be 2% for this guy to breathe. Unfortunately, what we'll see is that his end tidal SIVO will come back at something like 1.5% or maybe even lower, but it will not be 2%. And unfortunately, um, that means the gas will not be producing the full effects of one MAC. Of course, our end tidal of any gas is the alveolar concentration of that gas. You just use these terms synonymously because when you blow out the air that is in your lungs, this alveolar gas is the last that will come out. So you would sample this. Alveolar gas is your end tidal gas. So basically we're saying that our alveolar SIVO concentration is only 1.5% when we know that we need it at two to keep this person asleep. So there are a number of factors that change the onset time of our gas. We can show you the speed that the gas will have its effect by talking about the inhalational uptake fraction over time. On the y-axis we have our fraction of alveolar um, gas. This is what you breathe out compared to what you have um, breathed in, your fraction of inspired, and then time on the y or uh, the x-axis. So how long you've been breathing the gas in. For SIVO, this curve will look something like this, where it will take a number of minutes of breathing this gas to start increasing the amount of gas that's left over in the alveoli, and therefore what the estimated concentration of that gas is at the central nervous system. By comparison, desflurane increases quicker, or the amount of desflurane left over in the alveoli is more. And just remember that that fraction of alveolar gas was proportional to the pressure of that alveolar gas, which was equal to the pressure of that gas in your central nervous system. So the faster our FA rises, or the faster our FA over FI rises, the faster effects we will have on our central nervous system. And actually the fastest gas that we have for onset is nitrous. So this was nitrous or N2O, DES and SIVO. Just for comparison, two other gases that we don't really use clinically are isoflurane and halothane. On a long enough timeline, the FA over FI of all of these gases will actually approach one, but they have to saturate every compartment of your body before it does that. Um, that is to say that the fraction of gas that you breathe in would be the same as the fraction of gas that you breathe out. And for that to happen, um, basically no more tissues um, in your body have to be willing to accept the gas. So halothane, which is really soluble, will take a long time to saturate um, both the blood and then all the other body compartments versus DES, which is not very soluble, uh, will not take as long to saturate the blood compartment and all the other compartments in your body.